Hello again. Um, let me try to explain uh, a bit about uh, my story. Uh, let's say that uh, I've uh, always uh, drawn and painted, uh, even as a child. When I was uh, seven years old, seven years old, I was uh, selected to be on French TV to uh, because I wanted to become a comics. Uh, uh, to, I wanted to draw comics, so uh, I went to French TV to meet uh, Greg, which is a famous uh, French uh, comics uh, draftsman, and uh, yeah, I was very impressed by that, but uh, then my, car my career didn't start uh, right away, I was only seven. So I kept going and uh, slowly I discovered that uh, my universes were a bit uh, maybe... Um, uh, to say the least original so I was uh, creating universes and things like that I didn't know at the time and I had some friends who did some uh, uh, very great portraits and very realistic pictures and I felt very frustrated because that's what I wanted to do so I kept away from painting for a while after discovering this and I came back to it slowly and um, I started out as a sort of a curator. I, um, I uh, live in a village, a small medieval village in France, where there is a castle and uh, I organized exhibitions there to make uh, some artists uh, come from all over the world. Uh, Jesse Reno from Portland, Oregon came to, uh, to, to the, the castle and uh, these people, all, they all saw my work and they said, Jeff, you should uh, absolutely show your work. And then I started to do this. But uh, in, in France, it didn't work that well. So I decided to go abroad. And uh, that's where it, uh, it, uh, it started, really. Uh, in Norway, Italy, in the UK. And then collectors started to, to buy my work all over the world. Uh, but France. And then... <laughs> so... I, um, I then uh, went uh, along a group called uh, Uncooked Culture, which was, uh, which, which was uh, uh, a traveling group of artists, uh, a group of artists that was uh, uh, doing small works and that are traveling all over the world, uh, mainly what we call outsider artists and uh, also now um, new outsider that is uh, i am self-taught i've never been to any art school so these are these sorts of art artists uh, um, from then on then uh, some of my work was selected by the museum of everything in uh, london and uh, another drawing went uh, to uh, the museum of drawing in macedonia and uh, so uh, uh, I, I started to really uh, paint more and more um now i paint uh, i paint a lot that's my main uh, my main uh, activity and uh, um, i um, i still uh, want to to do uh, to do more uh, recently i was in uh, Mojave near switzerland and i did a, a wonderful uh, festival with lots of artists uh, i like to work with other people they uh, stimulate me and uh, they uh, they encourage me. They make me because I think that uh, we we do all this we artists uh, to make people realize that we all belong together. That we are, we are all very very uh, very similar as human beings. Uh, in this festival, I met uh, Louis Chabot, which is a uh, who is a, an old artist, like he's uh, nearly 80 years old and he's uh, had a long career. All I want is to keep going as long as he does. And uh, that's it. And the next thing now is uh, exhibiting with uh, you at CBA in uh, Maine. And I'm really enthusiastic about it. I'm really happy that you uh, chose my work and uh, chose to um, show it to uh, a great number of people who might uh, be interested in the sort of uh, thing that I want to transmit.
to other people, which is mainly harmony and uh, and some magic. Okay, uh, thank you very much for uh, looking at the works, and uh, I wish you an excellent exhibition to all of you. Thanks to all the crew at CBA, and uh, see you.